All right. So you guys are reading A Night Divided, and we're talking about Eastern Germany and Western Germany, right? Okay. So what we're going to do today is I am going to read a little bit to you guys at the end, but we're going to do some. We're going to do an activity first. So I have on these poster boards different pictures. I have three pictures from Eastern Germany and three pictures from Western Germany. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to look at the picture and you're going to pick a perspective. It could be the rock. It could be the sign. It could be a person. It could be a building. It could be a plant or an animal. It could be anything. And think about when you look at that picture, think about how that object feels based on that situation. So, you know, in Western Germany, who occupies Western Germany in this time? Mary? Um. America, Great Britain, and France. Right. And who occupies Eastern Germany? Riley? Um, Russia. Mm -hmm. So they're very different, aren't they? Someone has an advantage. Who has the advantage? Maddie? Russia. Um, if it's not Russia, it's the, the other side. The other side. <laughs> Western Germany, right? So they have the advantage. Why do they have the advantage? Gavin? But there's more of them. But who's, who's taking over that makes it an advantage? What's happening in Western Germany? What are they doing that, that Eastern Germany is not doing? Cooper. Um, they're fixing things and uh -huh. they're repairing things for the war. Right. So, what, so Western Germany is building up. They're building together. They're coming together. Eastern Germany is kind of what? Isabella. They're they're just leaving it. They're not build. They're not rebuilding anything. They're kind of doing the opposite of West Germany. Right. So it's kind of staying the same, right? <laughs> if they still see you know crumbled buildings like we've heard from in our story. So you guys are going to take the things that you what we that we know about in a night divided. So Fritz brought Gerta bananas and they brought music back and those were stuff that as they say in our book are illegal they don't like having those things in eastern germany right so we're going to take things that we know of that happened in our book and the knowledge that we know and apply it to our pictures so the groups that have western germany the pictures are going to look a little more you know things a little bit more lively and then the Eastern Germany side, they're going to look a little different, aren't they? So, I already have you set up into groups. And I'm going to have you guys in four groups of six. And each of you is going, each group is going to get one poster with one picture on it. Once I give you that, you guys can look at your picture. And I want every, each of you have to pick a different thing to, for his perspective. Okay? So, you're going to cut your poster board into four equal parts, and you guys are going to write down four to five things that shows that perspective of that thing. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> and then, um, you guys don't, and all the writing doesn't have to be the same direction. So, if someone is, is upside down, that's fine. Okay. So, and I will let you guys know who is Western Germany and who is Eastern Germany after we get to go, after you guys get into your groups. So the first group is going to be Vivian, Amar, Kate, and Nikhil. The second one, second group will be Crew, Juha, Kylie, and Molly. The third group is Henry, Bree, Maddie, and Cooper. The fourth group is Joe, Peyton, Varias, and Isabella. Group five is Gavin, Ion, Riley, and Camille. And group six is Marin, Lily, Darius, and Ford. So I'm going to have group one. If you guys need me to repeat your group, I can. Group one will be here. Group two is back there. Group three is these first four. <coughs> group four is the last four. Group five will be here. And then group six will be back at that table. Okay? Yes, you guys can go ahead and move. Yeah, you're here with me. 
It doesn't it doesn't have to be Yeah, I only chose these kids. I actually made a shoes to build a small you want to do Oh, no. I promise I won't. I won't leave you. I won't leave you hanging. What's your opinion? Pick the better words chosen. This is the last five. This is the last five. This is the last five. That could be a border scene. Well, actually, by the way, I chose that by his right. Either way is right. Like look, chose is right. That's a little I should pick a little girl because I mean no, I can't. I don't I can't uh, and you know what, Riley? Think about that building. Think about what that building is seen. Think about what that building is heard. It's been through so much of it. Yes, Think about it. The building has a perspective, too. I think it has a perspective on it. So you're writing about what this... So we're writing about what this sign could have seen like, during this war. So it's not... When they go to West Germany? So they could have seen that sign, huh? Is that what you're saying? Okay. So think about in, in this picture. What else do you think that sign is seen? Like if, if the sign had eyeballs, what, what do you think it could have seen? And what else? If, if this, if this, if we're, if we're, not, we're kind of connecting it to the moon, but at the same time we're not. So if this sign was just standing in Germany, which at some point it was, if it had eyeballs during, during the war, let's say, what else could it have seen? Think about the think about what occupies this side. Oh, I hear it now. Yeah, you did. I can't tell you when you Yeah, 
You can set up how you want. You can set it up however you want. But if you if you if you're setting up things more. If it gets to flowing, you can write more. You're not limited to. There's a minimum of four to five. Okay. 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 What do you do? Okay. What do you do? I am not surprised to go. No, not a bit. This guy should not be a player. So I don't know you
What did you pick, Juha? Um, I picked the man in the middle. Okay. Um, I said, I think the man is thinking about what might be happening in East Germany and wants to see what life the East Germans might be living in. He thinks and talks to his friends or people around him about people around him about possibly rescuing the East Germans because they might be having a rough life with the Stasi's guns facing them. I know this because trucks are surrounding them to probably block their voices from being questioned by the police or be caught. They are also near the edge of the woods where people probably might be Okay. And my guy is the guy on the left, this guy. He probably is missing his family and he most likely hates being in the war and he wants to go home. He, he must be tired and scared and hope and um, wants to go far away <coughs> from where he is and he hates not being able I bet he wants the wall to go down. Just so I bet he wants this war, this wall to go down, and his war to end once and for all. I bet he feels a little lucky that he doesn't have to be stuck in East Berlin. He's also probably upset because he lost the card game. <laughs> so this picture, those three men escaped from Eastern Germany, came to Western Germany. They were Grenzers, and they stuck together because they escaped together. And, they be, and that's how they became free. And this is them enjoying their free time together. I think that's a little off. Grenzers? Yep. It's a little bit off. 
comes from the like the world. So our perspectives are different, but it doesn't make them wrong. It's how you see it through your eyes based on the information that you've gathered. Darius? What size are the worst of the three members of the family on you? What size? I don't know. I don't know that. All right. So you guys can sit down. Good job. Because they may not have wanted to be on Yes. over the wall is in eastern Germany. Okay? And when they were all done, he 
He burned dead the world for that. She is scared because she can be with her friend or mother. She doesn't want to be at the wall because it was dead and dangerous. The girl wants to be free. So, this woman here is her mother. They got separated when the wall went up. So she's talking to her mother over the wall as long as she can before she gets caught. And she wants, obviously, they want to be reunited, but they don't know how. Yes? Wait, who's on the east and who's on the west? She is on the eastern side. Her mother is on the western side. Riley? Yes. Good job, guys. Yes, Joe, you had Okay. This, this is western Germany. The picture tells you. Gavin, what did you choose? I chose those two bottom kids from like the bottom right. Okay. These two kids could be thinking about what the, other, what the other side is like. Or they could be missing other people from the other side of the wall. These kids could be scared. They could have no or damaged homes from the war. They could be thinking about how unlucky the kids on the east are, are wondering if another bomb uh, attack would come. If the wall and if the wall would ever come down, or if the rest will soon be the same way as the east. They could be looking for rubbish from the war, or looking for damage the war had caused. That's all. Okay. What did you choose, Riley? Um, <clears throat> I chose this building. Okay. <laughs> Um, this building maybe was through World War II and saw everything during it. Also, it could be part of a border between America and Great Britain. It could also, could have also seen important people from the three countries, and the building could have just been rebuilt. Okay, well, I just take a look at that. Well, Papa and Jesse's little brother would have seen was a sign that said you are living in America <coughs> from German and more English. The sign shows that you are in West Germany and that you are on the good side, not the bad side, like East Germany. If the sign had eyes, it would have seen thousands of people and terrorization and especially the Berlin Wall. But as the West Side has shown good treatment, it would have happened in the past when he had a little sign in the so mine was really long, but I rewrote it. So you it can summarize easy. it if you want to. Yeah. Okay. So, so what did you choose? Who'd you or what did you choose? I chose this boy. Okay. Here. So I said overall the kid is probably most likely to be unlucky to be living on the west side bar. He has goods provided for him, and he has rights. This kid also might be thinking about people who are on who are living on the east side. He is also probably thinking about what it would be like in another sector of West Berlin, also because of the sign. Right now, he is coming home from Boy Scouts and going to his house and maybe having a snack of a banana, which is available at the lunch window. Perfect. So in that picture, those two boys, the two that Gavin did, they're on their way to school. All of these people are native to that area. None of them have been to the east um, since the wall bent up. 
so they never, they may have known what it was like if they had gone to Eastern Germany, but they, they never knew what it was like to live there after the wall was put up. So this is a picture of their typical day. They're going to school, they're going to work in the American sector part of Berlin. Okay? Good job, guys. Darius? Joe asked me first. You guys can go after their group. Okay. Okay. So you guys have Western Germany. So their side of the wall are in Western Germany is the side with all the people. Okay. Yep, this, the other side is Eastern Germany. All right. So I decided to do the man right there, and um, I picked one of the West German people in the crowd. He was watching a guard in the east while standing on the other side of the wall. He was standing in both. Both awe and entertainment, but also sort of looks irritated at the same time. I think he's thankful of where he stands on the left side of the wall instead of the east. And I do a picture because it reminded me of my dog watching a squirrel. I picked the Grimser right there because he seems bad and serious. He feels that he has to belong to. He has to belong and be loyal to his country, and the people from the West are evil. So he tries to stop people from going to the West. You might also think that he is do, doing something wrong, and he tried to help them, but is too scared. into Eastern Germany, and that Grenzer is guarding the wall, so yes? Um, well, I just have a question. Are those, like, the tourists that we go to the book? So, do you know when Papa was standing up on the platform looking into um, Eastern Germany? That's kind of what they're doing. 
So they are, so the Grenzer's making sure that no one from Eastern Germany gets over. And so he's patrolling the wall, and all of the Western Germany people are looking over, perhaps hoping to see a loved one pass by, you know, kind of seeing what their life either is or what their life could have been if they would have stayed there, stuff like that. So that's what is happening in that picture. All right? Good job, guys. Or is your group next? Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys go ahead and show your picture. All right, this is Eastern Germany. So this is Eastern Germany. Eastern. <laughs> All right, guys, we only have a little bit of time left. We got to snap. Oh, the fence yeah. looking thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is made of wood. The wood is cross. Um, it is a pit. Um, it's supposed to stop people from like, crossing over to the west. Um, it is in the death strip. It was built by the East. I know somebody who was here on to me about that. Um, think, um, thinking of the trail, um, wanting it to never have been built, and staying up for three decades or three years. Okay. And what did you choose, Marin? Um, I chose the <laughs> okay.
Industrial Pedestrian and Recycling Materials. And one of the barbed wire fences and guards are behind the area sweeping and there to the holding the signs and this thing is thinking of it and worrying about um, getting caught while trying to escape. Very good. So that's exactly what they're doing. They're escaping. They're trying to go from Eastern Germany to Western Germany so that they can have a better life. If they made it, I don't know. They did not inform me in that. If they made it fully across or not. I don't know. All right, this group, I don't know I'm showing you this. This group is next. <laughs> and this is their picture. And this is Eastern Germany. All right. So what? Did you
their spear and they have to try to look at the tank. Mm -hmm. And their spear that's in the one starts Okay. But then they get to the tank and they're going to And they're also pyramids. Very good. <laughs> oh yeah. So in this picture, <coughs> this is when um, the walls did start to go up, and and that is a Russian tank, and they wanted to know that everyone in East Germany that Russia was in charge. And that they were the ones who was going to control that side, and no one could stop them, and that they wanted them to know that they were powerful. Yes? It's not a Russian thing. Is it the Soviet Union? Because Russia was not. The Soviet Union. Thank you. Yes. Very good, guys. So it is. Go sit down. So it, it, when you guys sit and you think about different pictures and different images in different time frames, the perspectives can be different, can't they? Sometimes the perspectives in the same picture wasn't even what the picture was about. But different things can be feeling different things. Like, you can have different feelings for different situations based on how you look at it and based on what you know. Right? Okay. All right. Good job, guys. All right, I will take your posters, though. So if you guys want to pile them on that back table for me, make sure that your names are on the back. Okay.